Hi everyone, my name is Peter Pakulski. Uh, today we are going to start a new uh, financial model. Uh, so we will be talking about Uber, Lyft or taxi financial model. Um, so I hope you will enjoy this, uh, this, uh, this series of tutorials. So we will be creating this financial model from scratch. Um, as usually, well, I will give at the end screen of this video, I will give the link to the playlist where I will be keeping all the tutorials for this financial model. And when we will be done with this model, I will uh, put all the links uh, on these tutorials in the description of this video as well. So you can watch them uh, one by one uh, for free. Uh, as usually, you may uh, give us a like, subscribe, share this video with your friends. You can also order financial models from scratch for your unique business ideas. We can help you with that. And as usually, again, we have an empty Microsoft Excel file. So first of all, let's make some uh, basic uh, preparations. And now, first of all, we need to uh, create uh, the base, uh, the base for, um, let's just unfreeze. So let's just create the base for revenue calculation. So first of all, we need to start with creation of uh, revenue generation algorithm that we will trust. And that's why, first of all, we need to create some uh, portraits of the trips uh, with mileage and revenues and timing uh, and then we will be playing with this uh, we will be playing with these um, uh, type of types of trips and we will be looking at the revenues later we will be looking at the cash flow statement so first of all, I will be making some uh, assumptions uh, on this road. Um, so <laughs> every, everything will be created really from scratch. So first of all, let's uh, create um, the um, trips, trips types, trips types. Uh, uh, this will be the first block of the inputs. inputs. So this will be uh, trip type. For example, this will be trip type one. So now we are creating our unique role. So this color will be the color for all our inputs through the whole financial model. Uh, so if we later need to adjust some inputs, we will be just searching for the cells with this color and we will be able to find all the inputs easily. And we won't be playing with cells with formulas. So we need to avoid that. And to avoid this, um, um, manipulation uh, with the wrong data we will be using blue color for all our inputs so here for example we will have um, 30 let's say types of uh, types of uh, trips then uh, then we will have what we need uh, we will take the mileage mileage of a trip so how uh, how many um, 
how many miles will be in one trip and this will be so one so for example one trip can be to airport and back uh, some trips can be local so that's why we need to uh, and so this will be absolutely different types of uh, trips from perspective of mileage and from perspective of revenues so for example we can uh, create here we'll be specifying the miles So later we will be um, adjusting all this data so these are the inputs so we are coloring these cells with blue then uh, we will we will um, uh, add a column we will name it timing or for example let us let's call duration duration in minutes this will be another input then so we have mile uh, mileage duration then we will have uh, revenue this will be dollar per trip so for example this will be $20 and let's just add some value here so let's highlight this data with blue because these are the inputs then what we need to do so later we will when we will create the cash flow statement we will need to switch on and off different types of different types of um, um, trips and if we if we look at, so first of all we will create the model we will create the cash flow statement and many steps ahead um, we may be too optimistic with this portrait of trip for example that portrait of this trip and we may need to look at uh, our financials without uh, this type of trip in in our calculations in our business model and we will need to exclude uh, the revenues and direct expenses um, of this uh, type of trip from our our calculations <clears throat> and for that purpose we will create an on on off on off uh, switcher let's say on off so this will be kind of a library I will use uh, data validation for this cell uh, list on off here I will place on everywhere these are the inputs I'm gonna extrapolate this story to the bottom then I need to explain Excel so if if this is on I will place here one 
So um, if this value equals to this, I'm freezing the cell. Then I will place one, otherwise zero. So for example, if I want to switch off these uh, types of trips, we can do it like this. And our cash flow will change and our simple discounted payback period will change. And uh, next step, so we need to create the environment where we will be, uh, where, where we will be able easily uh, play with uh, different coefficients uh, to see how stable our business model is. So we need to create a system of local and global coefficients for mileage, duration and revenues for different types of trips. Uh, so first of all, we will uh, create the uh, coefficients for uh, mileage. So this will be local coefficient, global coefficient, and, and final value. Let me just start with architecture of this story. So this will be for mileage. Then I will do the same for for duration. And then I will do the same for the revenues. So local coefficient, for example, will be the base value of the local coefficient will be 100%. This is the input. So I'm coloring it with blue. Then global coefficient will be one for all of them. And the final value for mileage will be, we'll take this mileage, then multiply it on the on-off story, then we will multiply it on local coefficient, and multiply it on global coefficient. Let's freeze it. So what, why it is vital? So for example, if we want to switch everything off, some, some, uh, some types of trip, we can see here zeros. This is the first. So all this is needed, all this will be needed many steps ahead during scenario modeling. Then for example, uh, we may want to increase the mileage on 30% for all the trips. So the revenue, for example, stays the same, but we increase the mileage. So this is uh, how we, uh, the data goes. Or, for example, um, we are too optimistic with some specific 
uh, specific types of trips so we can play uh, for example with this group of trips and increase their mileage to see what will be the performance of the business in this case or we can for example take only 70% uh, of base values and see what will be what will be the financial see if we get uh, less mileage uh, we will make less mileage with the same revenues just for example and this will allow us create uh, easily a huge amount of scenarios without manual playing with all uh, the basic uh, basic inputs so the same story we are playing with uh, duration let me just copy these formulas we will go here uh, global coefficient will be um, this is on oh let me do a little bit another way I will copy the formula from here and I will drag this story here this story here duration will be placed here on off we will st will stay uh, in the same column and we can extrapolate this formula to the bottom and now we can copy this table one more time let's copy the formula from here to this cell I will drag this value here this value here then revenues will place here then I'm gonna extrapolate this formula to the bottom so e so we can increase the revenues for example on 30 40 percent or we can for example decrease the revenues from specific trips and we will be able to see the financial efficiency inside cash flow statement um, so if we want to switch off some services some trips we can easily do that so this is uh, the step number one so if you find this video valuable you may give us a like subscribe share this video with your friends you can also order financial models from scratch uh, for your unique business ideas we can help you with that um, at the end screen of this video I will give you the link to the playlist where I will put all these tutorials and when I will be done with this model I will give you all the links to the tutorials in the description of this video as well so like share subscribe guys see you in next videos thank you and bye